In our previous video, we learned how to pre-process text data. So now it's time to repair it for the analysis. Machine learning can't work with plain text. It can only work with numbers. So how do we get from text to numbers? Well, by vectorization. Now, the two main vectorization techniques for text mining are bag of words and embedding. And now we've already discussed embedding and found that while it works well, explaining why a particular document is classified into some category and what subsets of documents have in common can be challenging. So today we'll instead talk about the bag of words representation, which alleviates some of the problems of interpretation. Now, remember the tokenization step in the pre-processing from our previous video. That's where we decide what our tokens will be. Typically, we use words, but we could also use multiple words or phrases or even emojis. Now, bag of words will take the tokens we generate and represent the entire text with token frequencies. I'll open an Excel spreadsheet to make it very clear. First, I'll start by typing in three sentences. The cat is on the table, the dog is in the park, and the table is in the park. Now, let me list all the words or tokens that appear in any of these sentences. I'll put them each in their own column, making sure that I list them each only once. So the cat is on and then table, and then dog in and park. Now I can count how many times each of these tokens appears in the sentence. The word the appears twice in the first, second, and third sentences. The word cat, on the other hand, appears only once in the first sentence. Then is appears in all three sentences, and on only appears in the first. Now, we can complete the table for the remaining words as well. Great. We've now represented each sentence using word frequencies. We call this representation a bag of words. So let me show you how to create a bag of words in orange. First, I'll load the articles from the BBC3 dataset. It's the same one that I used in the other videos. Now again, I'll use the corpus widget to specify that my text analysis will consider both title and article content. I'll pre-process the text using the standard pre-processing pipeline and the UDPipe lemmatizer. Now remember, we already went through these steps in the pre-processing video. Then finally, I'll exclude numbers and anything containing a number. Now I can see the bag of resulting tokens in the corpus viewer if I turn on the show tokens and tags. The tokens are then listed at the bottom in order of appearance. I can also see the associated frequencies in a data table. For example, in our first document, the token account appears twice, the token ad appears only once, and the token advertising also appears twice. But documents usually contain many tokens. And again, for a collection of documents, the simplest way to visualize the entire bag of words is in a word cloud. So here's a word cloud displaying our bag of words results. The numbers on the left show the average occurrence frequency of each token in our collection. The order of the words here is the same, and we can also see that the most common words in our collection are say, year, win, would, and make. Now, more widespread words, such as forms of the verb to be, have very high counts, and as such appear more important than they actually are. To overcome this, we can use a technique called TF-IDF. TF stands for term frequency, or how often the token appears in a document. And IDF stands for inverse document frequency, or the number of documents in which the token appears. So TF-IDF weights the frequency of each token with its document frequency, prioritizing the tokens that occur frequently, but only in a small subset of documents. Okay, we can use the TF-IDF transformation in the back of words widget by setting the document frequency to IDF. There we go. You can now see the rendering of the word cloud. The top words are film, win, and best, a much more informative set of tokens for a collection of news articles. Okay, vectorization and text preprocessing are vital to preparing textual data for machine learning. 
Now the data is ready for downstream analysis, such as document classification, clustering, topic modeling, or sentiment analysis. But I'll explain all of these topics and more in our upcoming videos.